Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity and I'm in Silhouette Studio today and I'm going to be talking about how to make an easy drop shadow design um, with your fonts in Silhouette Studio. If you're new to my channel, I like to create designs in Silhouette Studio and I have a growing number of designs on my blog called sayitwithsimplicity.com and I also have an Etsy shop and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. But as I discover new things about Silhouette Studio, I like to share them with people and so that's why I'm here today to help you to, to create um, with your Silhouette Studio and um, have a, a fun time doing it. Now I don't know, I haven't seen or you know, tried any tutorials on how to do a drop shadow type of thing in Silhouette Studio. I'm just kind of, um, you know, invented my own way that works for me. And I hope that this is something that works for you, that you'll go ahead and try it. I'll try to go slow so that you um, get the gist of what I'm doing. But I ch would challenge you to go ahead and, um, you know, try this out on your own. Um, my way isn't the only way necessarily, but it works and I thought it would be fun to share. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to hit the T. No, that didn't work, but we're going to go and grab some text. Usually... You can hit the T on your keyboard, but for some reason, some of the shortcuts don't like to work well with my um, screencasting software. So we're just going to go ahead here and type some text, and I'm going to type out the word DAD, just like I did up here in all caps. And you can see that it defaulted to the Arial font. And I'm going to go ahead and enlarge that a little bit. And I'm going to pick a nice bold font that I have on my computer to show you this. And we're just going to drag that into the middle of our, our workspace. And now let's go to our font style panel or our text style panel. And let's bump up our character spacing to 140. And maybe that's a little high. Let's go to 130. Okay, so we have our text and we're going to go ahead and um, let's give that some black fill. And now we're going to go to our keyboard and we're going to go Control C, Control F while that's selected. And you can see that that gives me a um, exact duplicate. Let's undo that. So remember Control C, Control F is to copy and paste in front. And now we have that. Um, exact duplicate of our text right up in the front. So let's go ahead and let's change that to blue just like we did up above. And now I want my shadow to drop down and to the right. So I'm going to use my keyboard arrows to move that top copy in the opposite direction. So I'm going to go up and then I'm going to use my left arrow key to go over. And when I have the amount of distance away that I want, I'm going to stop there. And now I'm going to grab my top layer and I'm going to open my offset panel and I'm going to hit offset 
and I'm going to, now you can control how far away you want this um, distance, but I'm just going to highlight this box and I'm going to go 0 0.05 and hit apply. And now my offset is selected and I'm going to cut out um, a little space around the letter on the black layer, if that makes sense. So I want to have my offset chosen, which it still is, and now I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to select my bottom layer as well. And now I can go ahead and go up here to Object, Modify, Subtract, and that creates that offset because it took away that excess from the letters. And you can see that if I move that up, I'm just left with my shadow. Let's redo that. And now go back and group this all. And, you know, whatever color you decide that you're going to cut that out with. Um, you could probably even cut it out of two different colors if you wanted to. So I'm going to go up here and show you one that I did with a serif font. And the reason I'm doing that is because um, serif fonts are a little bit harder to work with. Um, I offset this a bit. and one of the things I found with the serif font is because you have this little serif um, sticking out, you want to make sure that your shift over and down or whichever direction your um, text is going to go is completely covered up because what happens is your under letter sometimes shows at the outs set of your you know top layer and you'll get little bits and pieces that um, you know form here and you'll have to go back and and delete some of those in order to have a clean design um, I was able to shift this one over enough so that I didn't have that but the other thing is is that this can be kind of thin and so you want to be careful that if you're going to be using this like for a sign design that this doesn't give you a potential for um, bleeds or if you're making a t-shirt out of a, a drop shadow design that you actually have enough vinyl here to adhere to um, your shirt once you get everything cut out and weeded. So those are just a couple of things that I noticed about um, working with certain fonts um, I have another design that I was working on over here, and this was just kind of fun. Um, I drop shadowed this font, and these kind of even overlapped a little bit, but that's okay. I kind of like the way that it turned out, and I think that'll look neat on the project. So go ahead and try some of the um, fonts that you have on your computer. I think this is just a fun way like I said, to add some um, dimension to your designs and, you know, go ahead and play with it and, and enjoy, you know, what you create. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please, please leave them in the description box below. And we'll see you next time. Bye now.